hello friends <clears throat> in this video i will explain how we can perform the experiment of basic logic gates using digital ics so in this video i will explain three basic gates and gate or gate and not gate okay so <clears throat> first i will use so uh, not get ic as already uh, mentioned in the beginning the pin diagram of ic and the two table okay so according to the pin diagram we will make the connection so the ic which i am going to use first that is 7404 so this is this ic is 7404 which i will use to perform the experiment of not get 7404 is not get ic okay so before that i want to explain about this uh, trainer kit this uh, this is digital ic trainer kit or you can say digital in the digital lab uh, we use uh, this trainer kit to perform various experiments related to digital electronics okay so what are the things first of all i will give you your uh, intro then after i will move on to perform the experiment so for performing the experiment of uh, not get so one plus five plus five volt uh, supply we need and one ground so plus five volt here as you can see this uh, from this terminal we will get and ground we will get from this terminal okay and for uh, seeing the output we will use these leds okay any one of uh, these leds we can use to see the output and for giving input uh, one whether it is one or two uh, sorry whether it is one or zero okay logic high or logic low we will use these terminals okay this, these are terminals these are uh, switch push pull switches when we press then logic 1 is given and when we again press then logic 0 is given okay so first of all i'm going <coughs> i'm going to explain about this ic so this is 7404 ic so in the side of this ic to the left side here you can see there it is a half circle notch so from that side we start counting the pins okay the side where it is uh, half notch half circle notch from that side uh, we are going to start and then we turn like this and then we count from the bottom so if you count then one two three four five six seven seven at the bottom side and then after uh, you have to go anti-clockwise okay then after you have to start from here eight nine ten okay I will use uh, 10 to so. So now, then here it is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so this is the way you can uh, identify pin number. Okay, the side where it is half circle, from that side we start counting from the bottom. Okay, then uh, we are here, two breadboards are mounted on this uh, trainer kit. So first uh, I'm going to insert uh, this uh, here and now you see so here we have to insert ICs okay here in the middle there it is uh, uh, in the middle there here you can mount the digital IC like this okay and uh, for the taking plus 5 volt I'm going to use this uh, wire so plus 5 volt this is plus 5 volt this I am going to insert here ok so here from here to here means so for the breadboard there are 5 blocks okay which are connected with each other now you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 total 10 blocks are there five blocks five blocks are internally connected with each other okay there is electrical connection so if i insert plus 5 volt here it means from here to uh, here means of uh, 1 2 3 4 5 five blocks i got plus 5 volt okay in the same way at the bottom also here if i insert here ground then five blocks i will get ground so you can uh, watch my other videos in which I have already explained about uh, the internal uh, uh, structure of uh, breadboard. <coughs> so.
so here I insert it blur now here when I connect so I got ground here so you know pin number 14 should be connected to plus 5 volt so this is plus 5 volt so that I'm going to connect to pin number 14 okay so, so here these are vertically these are internally connected with either so vertical column so here now you can see so many holes are there so these holes are internally connected means there is electrical connection among these all holes vertically horizontally there is no electrical connection only the vertically there is electrical connection okay so detailed uh, video on this internal structure of a breadboard i have already made so you can watch uh, you can go into the playlist and there in the digital electronic section you will get the details of breadboard okay so now here it is uh, plus here it is ground ground should be connected to uh, pin number seven so connected to pin number seven then according to the pin diagram so pin number one is the input of not gate okay for giving input i'm using this terminal okay this is for giving input so pin number one i'm co connected to this uh, input and for seeing output I'm going to use one more wire here. Yeah. So for seeing output, I'm going to use this red wire. Okay, and this so I'm going to connect here to this LED. Okay, connected. So <clears throat> now what happening means the circuit connection it is complete for not gate. So if I give input to zero, then output should be one, and if I give one, then output should be zero so what does it mean by one one meaning plus five volt okay if i give plus five volt then output should be zero zero meaning led should not glow okay and uh, if i give uh, zero here then output should be one it means led should glow led is glowing it means one if led is not glowing it means zero okay because logic one means high voltage means plus five voltage around five volt five voltage and logic zero means the ground means around zero volt you will get exactly not means somewhere around zero volt you will get so first of all now just turn on this trainer kit now i just turned on so this is switch now i turn this on okay as you can see here since uh, this LED is not glowing, it input is given zero. So input is zero. So now you can see output is one because output LED is glowing. So if I press here one, if I press, then now you can see here LED started to glow. So now when I press one, then now you can see here LED is not glowing. If I again press, so it means input is zero. So output became one. So if I give input one, then output became zero. So it means it is inverting. So just it is if you give one then output is zero and if you are giving zero input then output is one okay so output one means led should glow and output zero means led should not glow okay so here uh, input is uh, one because led is glowing in the input so output is not glowing so if uh, I, again i press so led is not glowing in the input so here you can say output is glowing it means output is one okay so this is the way we can perform the experiment related to not get. Hello friends, in this video I will explain how you can perform the experiment of AND gate using digital IC 7408. So this is a digital IC 7408, 14 pin IC this is. So how to identify the pin numbers, okay. So pin numbers to the one side of this IC, there is a notch okay half circle notch there so when that notch is to the left side and then uh, we start counting okay from the bottom so now here uh, at the bottom it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and then after we go anti-clockwise okay anti-clockwise we count and then 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 okay 
so here i am going to use this uh, here i am going to mount this on the breadboard so this is breadboard i mounted this ic here <coughs> so we mount ic here in this slot now here it is uh, gap so there we mount okay so pin number uh, 14 should be connected to vcc vcc means plus 5 volt so this is plus 5 volt here you can see it is connected to this one so from here i can take plus 5 volt for taking plus 5 volt i am using this uh, connecting wire so from there i connected to this pin number 14 okay and uh, pin number 7 should be connected to ground for uh, ground i'm using uh, this so now you can see here ground is connected to this portion of the breadboard so as you already know so this all so these five blocks are internally connected so uh, we get a uh, ground and connected to pin number seven okay so according to the circuit diagram uh, as already mentioned in the beginning or the pin diagram there according to pin diagram there pin number one pin number one and two are the inputs of AND gate and pin number three is the output so two inputs I will use so the so these are the terminals from where we can take inputs so for taking input I'm using these two terminals so first terminal I have already connected so I'm now going to use another terminal to get another input Yeah, this is another terminal okay so these two are inputs so pin num we have to connect these inputs to pin number one and two so i connect i'm connecting here so connected to pin number one and two of this ic and then we have to take output so output i'm going to take from pin number three so i connected this red wire i'm connecting here to pin number three connected to pin number three okay then uh, you can see for taking seeing output i'm using this led okay so i'm now going to use i'm to going to turn on this so when i turn on so now you can see when according to the, now we have to verify the truth table okay so, so here in this ic there are four and gates. so you can use any and and gate to perform the experiment so i'm using the first uh, and gate uh, in which uh, the pin number one and two are the inputs and pin number three is the output okay so according to the two table of AND gate as already shown in the beginning that uh, when 0 0 when input 0 0 okay so when when it is 0 so when this LED is not glowing it means that is input is 0 okay it means around 0 volt is given to the input okay when LED start to glow just like if I press 1 so now again who wants press then here this LED is glowing right now so it means uh, here input is 1 okay so whether LED is glowing or not that decides so whether it is 1 or 0. So now both LEDs are not glowing it means uh, both 1 1 sorry both 0 0. Both LEDs are not glowing it means both 0 0 so output is 0 according to the two table of AND gate. So if I have one mm, press 0 1 so 0 1 so LED is not glowing it means output is 0. So now you can see uh, the two table of AND gate then uh, one zero again output is zero led is not glowing in the output so when one one so when one one means led start to glow so it means output is one so when both the inputs are high then output is high otherwise output is low okay so this is the way uh, we can perform the experiment of uh, and get using digital ic 7408 okay so now next I am going to use uh, OR gate IC ok I am going to remove this I am removing this so that I can perform another experiment so I removed so now to remove this IC first of all use uh, such type of wire and then uh, just pull upward otherwise you know what the pin of this IC can damage okay so this one it was about AND gate now I'm going to use OR gate IC 
in the same way we can perform the experiment of or get so now or get i'm or get ic this is or get ic i'm going to use okay so again in the same way to the left side there it is half circle notch from there we have to start counting from the bottom uh, now from this side from the bottom we start counting so in the bottom side there are seven pins we count anti clockwise okay so 1 2 3 4 now you can see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay then after 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 okay so in this way anti clockwise we count so here i'm going to mount this uh, here on this breadboard so if it is not inserting properly so in that case you can bend this a little bit and then you can insert here so when you insert here then now you can see i connected plus 5 volt as you already know this is plus 5 volt ic so plus 5 volt uh, from here it is taken to this and then it is connected to pin number 14 that is vcc and ground is connected here and then from here to there now you can see it is connected to pin number 7 okay and then after two inputs so two inputs i am taking from this these two are inputs okay i am connecting to pin number one and pin number two because pin number one and two are inputs of uh, or gate so this is it and then output i am going to take from pin number three connected to this red wire is connected to pin number 3 of this IC and then output is you know, we are taking from this LED so now this uh, trainer kit is off now I am going to turn on when I turn on so this uh, here it, uh, this LED is glowing right now it means this is turned on so now you can see you can uh, verify the truth table of OR gate so here two, these two switches are there so these two switches are used to give input so when L these LEDs are glowing it means an input 1 and if not glowing it means 0 so right now not glowing it means input is 0 0 so output is 0 so when I press uh, this one so 1 so now you can see here LED is glowing it means input is 1 1 0 so output you can see LED is glowing it output is 1 okay when 1 1 then here you can see output is still glowing it means when 1 1 then output is 1 when uh, 0 1 then output is 1 okay and uh, when 0 0 then output became 0 so this is the way we can verify the truth table of uh, or get by using this digital ic 7432 uh, so or get ic it is 7432 okay so thank you all.